It's incredible. I'd say fantastic. Lots of fish. Let's just call it wild. I'm here to catch fish. I love to fish. I have never seen anything like it. We arrived out here and there must have been a hundred fins of uh, silver salmon sticking out of the water and uh, all we had to do is throw the line out there and we were catching fish one after another. 10 to 15 pounders. Everyone a thrill. Oh, you got him. People come from all over the world to fish Wild Man Lake Lodge because of its uh, special unique location and, and the special river. Of all the places I've been, one of the things that I like the most here is you're not competing with other lodges. You are fishing only with the people that you eat breakfast with and that's been unique in my experience in Alaska. We're all alone and plenty of fish and uh, it's just great. Well, it's, uh, it's a unique experience. Uh, I'm not that much of a fisherman, but uh, even an old rookie like me <laughs> was able to pull in fish one after another. People that come here uh, are looking not only for great fishing, but they're looking for the experience. But you don't have to be a pro fisherman to fish with us at Wild Man Lake Lodge. A couple of my friends are here, have been here five, four or five years in a row. Uh, they love the place and uh, I met Butch and Kathy in North Carolina at a fly fishing show this year and they're extremely personable. Anything you need, any special needs, they're extremely accommodating and you couldn't ask for nicer people. The staff here at Wild Man are so important to the lodge. They are caring people. They are really dedicated to providing the experience for our guests. They want to provide good food, clean rooms, Anything that the guest requires is provided immediately for them. I think it's mostly the personnel and Butch and Kathy. Good, and there's a lot of fish here, probably more than in most of the other places. I've, I've fished over Alaska maybe 15 years and been here the last five, that ought to tell you something. Well, it still blows my mind that we are 500 miles away from the nearest road and uh, because of the isolation, you just, you know, you're here by yourself, so you can uh, really, really get the feel of Alaska. What makes Wild Man Lake Lodge really unique, number one, is Ocean River. It's the only true artesian sport fishing river in Alaska. So you don't have to worry about muddy water or high water, crystal clear water fishing every single day you're here. From its origin, uh, Ocean River comes over the waterfall, flows right by the lodge, and then winds about 15 more miles uh, and flows into the Bering Sea. And uh, I mean, this is, this is uh, where they filmed the deadliest catch, right offshore. I mean, we are the land end of that program. Uh, the river dumps right in the ocean. Uh, the salmon that we're catching are chrome bright, right out of the salt water. Um, and then they work their way up and spawn up around the lodge here and, and uh, you can see the spawning sockeye like in August and, and uh, then they go up into Wild Man Lake where the bears feed on them, a lot of bears up in there. <laughs> we are here by ourselves. We've got about six of the guys from our crew and we've got this entire river to ourselves. And uh, I mean, we could fish here for 10 days and still uh, not even put a dent in the number of silver salmon that's in this river. The other thing is the remote location. We are the only lodge within miles, uh, hundreds of miles. So it's rare that you'll see anybody or encounter anybody. And that type of thing today in Alaska is hard to find. In fact, you probably won't find it anywhere but here on the remote Alaska Peninsula. Our normal stay at Wild Man Lake Lodge is seven days and seven nights. Uh, folks normally come in on a Sunday. And as uh, soon as you get here, we get you oriented as to what the week's going to bring. Uh, feed you lunch, make sure you're licensed up, get you with the guides, and we get right out on the river. The next morning, uh, we're up early with a pot of coffee at your door and breakfast. And uh, then we take half of the people and we fly them out to a neighboring river. And uh, that leaves only a maximum of eight people on Ocean River, 15 miles of uh, just beautiful crystal clear water and only eight fishermen with your guides uh, via the jet boat. One incredible thing this morning, we all walked in here and there were six people and all six people had 
10 plus pound silver salmon on at one time and it's happened several times during the day so it doesn't get any better than that and it's almost lunch. As you can see the silver fishing is just out of control and uh, we've got silvers coming in these rivers here in huge runs and that's uh, one of our most popular fisheries again starting about the middle of August and going all the way into October. I mean you can sometimes see them laying in the river just spinning. I, I mean fish just laying on top of the water, finning by the thousands. And all you gotta do is cast a top water popper in there and holy mackerel, they just tear it up. The top water popper is a, uh, oh, they call them wogs, uh, polywogs, uh, a number of things. They tie them with deer hair, they, all kinds of things. But the most, the main thing is it's gotta float and it's gotta have a little bit of suction on the top. Now I make them out of uh, fishing commercial fishing floats I found off on the beach and I cut them with a plug cutter and tie some marabou on them and, and uh, we just get them so they float good they, and you can make some sound with them when you pop them with the fly rod and it just drives the silvers crazy. Uh, uh, more silvers come after it and miss it and turn around and try again than actually you know hook up on them but boy you hook up a lot of them. We're catching big silvers this morning and it's uh it's, a, it's been absolutely incredible. I've fished for silvers for 20 years and this is absolutely the best silver fishing I've ever seen. I've been catching one about every other cast. If I, if I make a bad cast, I have to cast twice. Well, I had, uh, I had maybe a 13, 14 pounder on. I fought him for about 10, 15 minutes. Thought he had him up close. Uh, had the rod bent real big and uh, here's the end result. My old fly rod just snapped right in two. We did get the fish though, so uh, not all was lost. Uh, caught maybe, I don't know, 12 or 13 silver salmons today and uh, caught a dozen or so uh, Dolly Varden and Char yesterday and plus three real nice 18 to 20 inch rainbows. Uh, so it's been, been a great experience for me. Our King Run is a real good one, and uh, that's uh, our main event during June and July, and people come from all over the world just to fish the kings. It's not like uh, Upper Bristol Bay or maybe the Kenai Peninsula where you're lucky to get one king uh, a day or one king in a week. Uh, we have guys uh, that have caught up to 30 kings in one day, one guy on a fly rod, so it's spectacular. I always say it's a minute a pound. So if you've got a 30 pound fish, 30 minutes. 45 pound fish on a fly rod, 45 minutes. They are tough. We get some wonderful runs of kings in these rivers where we land right on the black sand of the ocean beach and we fish right there. I mean, the fishing's right there. We don't have to walk, we don't have to wait, we don't have to boat. So 20 minutes after breakfast, we're standing there fishing kings. Our guides fillet the fish. They vacuum pack this fish and then we freeze it and each guest is able to take home a 50 pound box of salmon fillets. If they prefer, they can ship this box into Alaska Sausage and Anchorage and then, and then have the fish smoked. We fish real hard usually the first three or four days um, and pe people then start looking at, around and thinking about, well, what about the wildlife? Let's go see, look at bears or let's go look at walrus. Probably the favorite outing that we do is just a short 10 minute flight over to uh, what we call Wally World. This is where the Pacific Walrus haul out and it's literally the uh, only place um, along this Bering Sea coast where you can go look at thousands of walrus from close range. Uh, you can photograph them, we're careful not to spook them or bother them, but it is really something. I mean, you can't see this anywhere else in the world. The Walrus Beach is wonderful. It's right on the black sand beach of Bristol Bay, and there can be a few or there can be thousands, and they're just such magnificent creatures. You can watch them in the ocean, and they're white, white, and they actually float pretty high up in the water. And then they'll come out of the ocean and make their way up the beach and lay down kind of in piles, and, and uh, if the sun is out, they'll turn pink and they're just all warm and cozy and they don't care whether we're there or not. They might sit up and take a look and then they just close their eyes and fall back asleep. At Wild Man Lake Lodge, even though we're so remote, 
Um, we, we've got all the equipment that we need. We've got five jet boats on the river, and we've got jet boats out on some of our other rivers, places that we fly to. Occasionally we use boats in those locations. And uh, I don't know, there's five airplanes out in the yard out there, uh, Avalon Beavers, Cessna 185s, uh, Super Cubs, and they're all on big tires. Now, you won't find float planes at Wildman Lake Lodge. We land on the ocean beaches. Um, we don't take you where the other guys take you. We take you to remote places that have got uh, gravel bars, beaches, different kinds of places where we land, and we get away from the crowd. Oh, yeah, yeah, real safe. They're, they're very careful. I like that. Butch has got a uh, fleet of about four or five planes, and uh, we took a uh, Cub out here. Probably it was a, uh, oh, a 30 minute uh, plane ride. We saw a, uh, a bear on the way, uh, on the way out, and uh, uh, I've never seen the tundra like this. So uh, it's, you know, in the mountains in the background, so it's, uh, it's quite an experience. Experience is what we have here at Wildman Lake Lodge. I've been flying the Alaska bush for over 36 years. The pilots that we hire have been with us a long time. Bill since 1983, Brad since 1990. I mean, these are guys that know how to fly the bush. And uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. It's critical for what we do. And they know the area as well as our guides. Our guides know the river, they know how to fish, they know fly lines, they know flies, they know leaders and tippets, uh, and uh, this is what we do. Uh, we're a professional fly fishing, sport fishing lodge. And that's what we do. They've really treated us nice. Butch knows his stuff. He knows where, where the uh, good fishing holes are and uh, make sure we get there. And the fact that you can uh, fly out for three days gives you a lot of flexibility. I think it's a uh, uh, friendly staff. Uh, Butch, Butch uh, gives you the straight information. Uh, it's good fishing, really good fishing, but it's also a good safe place to be where you're, uh, when you're back in the lodge at night, you can relax and uh, you know you're going to we have a good day of fishing the next day, but it's also real enjoyable at night. I love the remoteness of Wildman Lake Lodge, and I like the, the river system here. It's just beautiful. It's clear water river. The vegetation, there is so much flora and fauna here to be seen. It's just beautiful. Our guests can see all kinds of birds, eagles, of course, ducks. Um, every once in a while, we'll see some moose or caribou. Everybody almost always gets a chance to see the bears and the walrus. Wildman Lake Lodge um, started out originally as a hunting lodge here on the Alaska Peninsula. And uh, Kathy and I uh, converted the lodge basically into a sport fishing resort, a uh, sport fishing lodge. Uh, we put in uh, hot water baseboard heat. Uh, Wildman Lake Lodge has got safe, comfortable, warm heat 24 hours a day, uh, piping hot water in the showers. Um, everything is piped underground. We've got comfortable guest cabins and uh, uh, we can sleep a maximum of 16 people, no more. Uh, 16 is our, our limit and uh, it's it just a comfortable place. We've got a spacious dining room, comfortable lounge overlooking the river. Um, yeah, it's home, it's our home, this is where we live. Butch and I have really worked hard to make our guest rooms as comfortable as possible and we have either twin beds or king size beds and we have duvet covers on the beds that are just make it so cozy and uh, you know we we really want our guests to be comfortable and happy and have a good time oh yeah i'll tell you the beds are comfortable uh, it's all good clean new bedding new towels uh, hot showers uh, the cooks are great full breakfast uh, bacon, eggs, uh, pancakes, what French toast, whatever, and then uh, have really good dinners. Uh, had pork roast and uh, wine with dinner, and then lunch on the river, and so it's been uh, been great. Well, I tell you, I've, I've probably gained 10 pounds uh, already. The food's been fantastic. The people have uh, really been nice to us, taking really good care of us, and uh, got hot and cold running water. I mean, it's, uh, it's a nice deal. Oh, good food. You can tell by my figure, I like the food. <laughs> <laughs> the food is really great here at Wild Man Lake Lodge. It's all prepared by our professional kitchen staff and chef. We have some great salmon dishes. We have salmon out on the river as well as uh, salmon a couple of nights during the week, but we're not going to feed you fish every day. We've got a variety of uh, different things on the menu from Italian night to Mexican night and uh, of course my favorite uh, steak night.
You know, after 36 years in this business, um, I'm still as excited about it as I was when I started. Um, I go out at it with a little more experience now than I used to. But uh, what makes me happy is showing people Alaska, my home, great family spot. A lot of times we have, uh, you know, mom, dad bring along some kids. Uh, we have a lot of father and son kind of programs. Uh, we get all kinds here. Well, I've always wanted to uh, go salmon fishing in Alaska, and I met uh, uh, Butch at a hunting and fishing show in the Woodlands, Texas, and uh, I looked. I talked to about 10 different outfitters, and uh, Butch was the one I felt most comfortable with. He was the most relaxed guy and was interested in what I'd fished before and what I was interested in doing, and so uh, it was just... Uh, out of all the 10, he was the one I came back to two or three times that day and got his video, and. and Thought about it for a year or two and uh, then uh, started talking to my friends and saw them again at the fishing show and went ahead and committed. Very good decision and absolutely the right place to be, absolutely. All my friends that came up, uh, uh, three, three fathers and their sons and I've known the sons since they were about five years old and it's good to see these young men enjoying themselves and uh, kind of learning from the guides and, uh, and it's been a great experience. Uh, we'll definitely be back again. I've been to Alaska several times, and and this this is the the best that I, trip that I've ever had. It's just incredible. The fishing's incredible. Uh, the guides are incredible. Everybody's personable. The food is good. Uh, I'm just really enjoying it. It's the best trip I've ever had, and I've been many times. Of course, this is my first. Uh fishing experience in Alaska, I don't know how to compare him to others, but uh, I think it'd be hard to beat. You know, at the end of the day, if I'm tired, I've been out with people fishing all day long, um, it, they've had a good time, uh, we come back laughing and scratching and we're sitting at the lodge telling fish stories and talking about the one that got away and everybody's genuinely excited about going out again tomorrow, <laughs> that's been a good day. What pleases me the most about Wild Man at the end of the day is if I can see that our guests are happy, they come to me and they have expressed that they've had a great time. Kathy and I would like to invite you to join us for a week of sport fishing in Alaska like you'll never forget. Wild Man Lake Lodge is our summer home and we'd like to have you here with us.